everyone and welcome back. Today's project will be another first for me. I'm going to incorporate Celtic knots into this project. I plan on having a pair of candlesticks at the end. So I've got two blanks I've prepared. I've roughed one to rhyme so that I can see how the knot will come out. It's, it's come out not too bad. Uh, I don't know how this one's going to turn out but We'll put this on the lathe and we'll see what sort of shape we'll go for. Out of interest to some of you, this is the jig that I made in order to cut the slots in the wood in order to glue in the veneer to form the Celtic knot. So it's just a bit of chipboard with a bit of pine that I've bolted through as a guide fence and a slot cut in on the bandsaw and I used a, just a protractor to get an angle to set it up and I drew a line so I've got a 45 degree line marked and a 60 degree line marked and it's 60 degrees that I used for this one so I can loosen that bolt and adjust that to any angle I want so depending on how this project turns out I'll do a, a how to video on explaining how I made this jig and the process of cutting and gluing the veneer strips in. This project really is just an experiment to see how well this setup works. With the wood between centres now you can get a better look at the knot pattern that we have here. The main wood is Iraqo and the veneer strips that I put in are white oak. So. This should provide a nice contrast once the wood is finished. But using my trusty workshop pencil, I'll let you see the, the shape that I'm going to try and go for. So at the end here, I'll need to leave a tenon that will glue into what I'll have for the base. I plan to have a cove at the bottom here as well, just a small cove there uh, and I think I'm going to try an apple core kind of shape so this will haul out kind of like a big cove and I'm hoping to have the Celtic knot kind of in the centre of that um, and then I'll have another small cove at the top here and something sort of shaped like the head of a thistle up at the top. If I can turn the camera a bit. Because I've got quite a bit of length. So after the the apple core kind of effect, another small cove and something kind of like the shape of a thistle. So I'll have kind of like a ball coming out and then kind of something like that. Don't quite know how to describe it. Hopefully you'll be able to see at the end something that looks somewhat like a thistle at the top of the candlestick. And then once we've got all of that turned and the base turned, I have these little brass inserts that I'll bore down in from the top that will hold the candlestick. But Let's get this spindle turned first and see how well this comes out.
have our first finished spindle for the candlestick. A rock will polishes up really easily. You can see there the contrast between the oak and the Arocco with the Celtic band. It's got a lovely glass finish on it there. So what we can do now is use this one as the reference to turn the second one and I'll do that off camera so that it's a bit of a shorter video. You don't need to see me turn both. But I just thought I'd let you see how this one turned out. So I'll turn the next one and then we'll start working on the bases. Okay, so I have both the spindles for the candlesticks turned and they're pretty much identical. I'm happy with how they've turned out. So now it's time to pick a wood for the base. I'll get a piece chucked up ready to make a start on that. I've decided just to use a rocko for the base as well. Originally I had planned to have a contrast in colour for the base but the Oroccos turned out a lot lighter than I was expecting comparing it to other things that I've turned from the same piece of wood. So I'm just going to stick with the Arocco just to be sure that it is all going to tie in. And to be honest, this piece of Arocco could turn out to be a different colour to the stems anyway. But this black that I have here is about three and a half inches in diameter by three inches high. And I'm hoping to have the apple core effect on the base as well, coming up to the stand for the spindle to glue into. So we'll turn a mortise and we'll start doing a bit of the shaping so that we can finish this and then turn it around to complete it. starting to get the shape that I'm looking for now so I'm going to finish the base and around maybe to here so that I can turn it around and then finish shaping. Okay so I've finished the base and turned it around and the fool I am I forgot to check the size of the mortise before applying the finish and the mortise was a few mil too small for the 50 mil jaws I have for my chuck. But I've been able to mount it in these remounting jaws so we'll still be able to finish this. So I'll turn away the rest of the material and prepare a flat edge.
Okay, we have the base now finished and polished. As you can see, my suspicions were correct, and this part of the Araku has come out a lot darker than the spindle. I don't know why, because I've taken all these pieces from the same board. I was hoping for this darker colour to be on the spindle, but we're going to get the contrast that I was hoping to have between the spindle and the base anyway. But we're ready now to glue it in together. Okay, we'll leave that to dry overnight now and tomorrow I'll turn the other base and get it glued up and then we'll be ready to bore in from the top of the spindle for the candle holder. With both candlesticks turned we're now ready to put in the brass cups that will hold the candlesticks. I'm going to use a 13mm drill bit to set the depth and to make a starter hole to make it easier to open it out to the diameter of the brass insert. It's now just a case of carefully making this hole bigger until the brass cup fits in. After much trial and error, we have a recess now for our brass cup. So <coughs> I'm going to glue this in just with some CA glue, put some glue in it, and I'll use the quill from the tailstock just to put pressure on there and leave it for a few minutes for it to set. And then this one is done. Okay, I'll leave that to dry for half an hour or so and then I'll do the same to the other one and then I'll let you see them both together. And here we have the finished piece, a matching set of Iraqo candlesticks with oak Celtic band. The Celtic bands came out really well. I'm quite pleased with them. So I'll do a video in the future of my process for gluing in the inserts for the Celtic bands. This was a fun project. Putting in the brass cups at the end was slightly more difficult than I was expecting just because of the instability on the length of the candlesticks. But in the end they went in okay. So. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you're a subscriber, thank you for your support. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Your support is appreciated. See you on the next video. <laughs>